thanking God for bringing all of us together here in this holy place, also bringing all our intentions and intentions of all the people who asked our prayers. Let us begin this Eucharistic celebration. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you all. To prepare this Eucharist in a more worthy manner, let us call to mind all the times we failed. Lord Jesus, you have sent to heal the contrite heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ Jesus, you came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are seated at the right hand of God to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Grand Lord, that we, your servants, may rejoice in unfailing health of mind and body, and to the glorious intercession of Blessed Mary, ever virgin, may we be set free from present sorrow and come to enjoy eternal happiness. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. A reading from the book of the Apocalypse. I, John, saw a new heaven and a new earth. The first heaven and the first earth had disappeared now, and there was no longer any sea. I saw the holy city and the new Jerusalem coming down from the God out of heaven, as beautiful as a bride all dressed for her husband. Then I heard a loud voice call from the throne. You see this, you see this city? Here God lives among men. He will make his home among them. They shall be his people, and he will be their God. His name is God with them. He will wipe away all tears from their eyes. There will be no more death and no more mourning or sadness. The world of the past has gone. Then the one sitting on the throne spoke. Now I am making the whole of creation new. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Responsorial pomp. Psalm. You are the highest honor of our race. You are the highest honor of our race. May you be blessed, my daughter, by God most high, beyond all the women on earth, and may the Lord God be blessed, the creator of heaven and earth. You are the highest honor of our race. The trust you have shown shall not pass from the memories of men, but shall ever remind them of the power of God. You are the highest honor of our race. God grant you to be always held in honor and rewarded with blessings, since you did not consider your own life when our nation was brought to its knees. You are the highest honor of our race.
The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, the Lord. Near the cross of Jesus stood his mother and his mother's sister, Mary, the wife of Clophus, and Mary of Magdala. Seeing his mother and the disciple he loved standing near her, Jesus said to his mother, Woman, this is your son. Then to the disciple he said, This is your mother. And from that moment, the disciple made a place for her in his home. And this, dear friends, is a good news of our Lord Jesus Christ. Dear brothers and sisters in Christ Jesus, in this beautiful place, we have been, especially our group, have been listening to the stories of Mary's apparition to the three shepherd children. I don't want to repeat the whole story, but I would like to share two thoughts about this holy place and Mary's apparition. Whether it was Mary's apparition to three shepherds, children, or Mary's apparition to Saint Bernadette in Lourdes, or Mary's apparition to San Juan Diego in Mexico City. All these places and to the people, it was very ordinary people, poor people, insignificant people of the society. There are moments and situations that we feel poor, whether it may be spiritually, physically, economically, psychologically, or emotionally. Remember all those moments, God's presence is with us. We only need to pray for strength and courage to overcome. Because all these apparitions and those places and people remind us that God's presence is with us, even if we are poor in various ways. The second thought I would like to share is, there are many gifts that Jesus left us. Eucharist is one gift. Holy Spirit is another gift. But another gift that Jesus sent with us left with us is giving us his own mother that we heard in today's gospel reading. To the disciple, he said, this is your mother. We all know that every mother likes to have best children, best qualities in their children. Dear friends, let us become good children of our heavenly mother, Mary. And one of the ways we can become good children is by praying. All those aspirations, especially to the th three children, Mary said, pray, pray all the time. So by praying, spending more time in prayer every day, let us try to become good children of our Heavenly Mother, Mary. And let us pray for this grace as we continue to take part in this Eucharistic celebration. May God bless all of us in this regard. Amen.
pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Receive, O Lord, we ask the prayers of your people with the sacrificial offerings that through the intercession of Blessed Mary, the mother of your son, no petition may go unanswered, no request be made in vain. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your Lift up your hearts. Lift up Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is to right, right and just our duty and our salvation to praise your mighty deeds in the exaltation of all the saints and especially as we celebrate the memory of the Blessed Virgin Mary, to proclaim your kindness as we echo her thankful hymn of praise. For truly, even to earth ends, you have done great things and extended your abundant mercy from age to age. When you looked on the lowliness of your handmaid, you gave us through her the author of our salvation, your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Through him, the host of angels adores your majesty and rejoices in your presence forever. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in one chorus of exultant praise as we acclaim. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the founder of all holiness. Make holy day for these gifts, we pray, by sending our new spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it and give it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was entered, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be put out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you are less worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and bread of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit.
Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with our Papa Francisco and our Bishop Jose and all the clergy. Remember your servant whom you have called from this world to yourself. Grant who has united with your son in a death like this may also be with him in his resurrection. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of your resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, the blessed apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be quiet to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, a God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the service command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not to temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, whose reposes peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but in the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, 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 Lord,
let's pray as we receive this heavenly sacrament we beseech o lord your mercy that we who rejoice in commemorating the blessed virgin mary may by imitating her serve worthily the mystery of our redemption through christ our lord amen the lord be with you may all may god bless you the father the son and the holy spirit amen strengthened by the eucharist let us go in peace to love and serve the lord